I am Dr. Suman Kushwaha. I am Professor Neurology and I am working at the Tertiary Care uh, Neuro Psychiatry Center in the city of Delhi, the capital of India. So our institute is basically catering the patients of uh, neurology and psychiatry from whole of the North India. And uh, as far as my expertise is concerned, I am basically a cognitive neurologist. Most of my work is in cognition. I'm dealing with the patients of dementia. And this I am doing since the last 18 years. So I just, uh, by these two cases were basically of a pediatric uh, age group. Uh, the girl is 16 year old and the boy is, boy is 17 year old. The 16 year girl uh, has been vaccinated and got uh, uh, the complaints of difficulty in seeing the objects. So she has optic involvement, eyes involvement. And later on, two days later, she has become slow. She has become extrapyramidal. She has become Parkinsonism. She had Parkinsonism. And after that, uh, for a week, she was very slow. And when we got the cognition done, cognition mean when we have done his uh, intellect or higher mental functions, they were all deranged. And most of these dysfunction were of frontal lobe type. We have different lobes. So most of these, she had a lot of executive dysfunction. She has become slow. And uh, when she had become ready, that patient was referred to us. And by that time, she was treated uh, uh, in a neighborhood hospital in ophthalmology because her primary complaint was difficulty in seeing the objects. So she was treated there. She was given methylprednisolone. And by the time she has arrived to us, there was some partial improvement in her vision. So we had seen her as Parkinsonism. The other boy uh, had come directly to us and he had a lot of uh, abnormal movements in form, what we call as chorea. He was very fidget, moving his hands, limbs, and two days later on, the abnormal movements have decreased and he had also become very slow, which we call as bradykinesia. And when, uh, and this, the boy also had a lot of higher mental function dysfunction in form of frontal lobe involvement. So in both these patients, we have seen Parkinsonism, and we have seen frontal lobe involvement. And when we investigated these patients, we have done the battery of investigations. All the investigations were normal except the MRI. The MRI basically had shown bilateral basal ganglion involvement, bilateral symmetrical. And that was the cause why these two, two patients have Parkinsonism. Right? While other investigations of these patients were normal. And we've also investigated the same patients for COVID, whether they have COVID or not but twice the PCR was negative. So basically, and both these patients were given COVID vaccine uh, 10 days before. They have this onset of illness. And uh, after investigations, we have given immunotherapy to these patients in a form of methyl prednis long, followed by IVIG. And there was improvement, partial improvement in the symptoms of the patient. The bradykinesia has improved. And subsequently, on follow-up of after six weeks or so, these both the patients have improved to around 75%. And when we got the uh, neuroimaging repeat in these patients, uh, the hyperintensities, which was visible initially has basically reduced to the gliatic areas in both the patients, in both the basal ganglia. So there was a friction of basal ganglia. We can associate it with the vaccine as the other investigations were normal. That's how we came to the diagnosis of possibly a vaccine associated basal ganglia involvement leading to Parkinsonism, which was reversible after the treatment. We have done the routine investigations, that is the normal blood count, all the normal biochemical parameters. We did the cerebrospinal fluid examination, which came to be normal. We did the extensive viral panel in the CSF. Like most of these uh, neuroimaging was like, like, which is seen in Japanese encephalitis. 
So it was all negative. And uh, we also did the autoimmune profile of the patient, NMDR, VGKC, what is available with us here. It was all negative. Right. And we did the toxin profile also. It was also negative in both the patients, the vasculitic profile as well. So we have investigated fairly well in these patients and all the investigations were negative. That's how we came to the possible association of maybe vaccine causing the affliction of bilateral basal ganglia in these two patients. We have been following this patient still. I think uh, it's like uh, since last three months we have been following this patient, there is sustained improvement in their cognitive functions and in their Parkinsonism. They are at least now on no treatment. They are only on neuro rehabilitation. They are only doing physiotherapy, occupational therapy, but they, but they are off treatment. In any case, the vaccines are basically useful for controlling the pandemic. And we should not refrain ourselves from having vaccination because of these complications. But at the same time, we should be vigilant of these complications or adverse reaction and report these patients for pharmacovigilance and continue vaccination. Because most of these side effects are irreversible, as in our case. Both the patients have improved.